I want to talk about a vulnerable pain story of mine that I'm sure most of you have actually heard before. So uh, this story starts with my shoulders, which is no secret to the docs here at Ability. It is one of the toughest areas to adjust on me. It is an absolute bear. And even the person adjusting me ends up in a little bit of pain afterwards too. Kind of funny for me. But uh, what, I want to, what I want to share about it and why it's connecting to this, this education week of dashboard and warning lights, right? Uh, I chose to ignore this pain for way too long until it became a major problem. So it, it stems from a, a history of lifting and football to where in my junior and senior year, I actually separated both my shoulders, which was a horrible, painful experience and I don't recommend to anybody ever. But it, it stems in my junior year to start where during a game, I was blocking somebody and had my arm outstretched way too far, not to where my strength or where my protection would have been to my body, which unfortunately caused a twinge up here on top of my shoulder. Now, uh, I always saw the chiropractor every Saturday morning after a game. So I went in and I went through my normal checklist of warning lights. Doc, my low back hurts, my ankle's killing me from the, from the guy that rolled into it, but I ignored my shoulder. It was something that was new to that game. It wasn't a massive problem yet, it just felt tight. So he didn't even address my shoulder because I didn't bring it up. Fast forward to a couple weeks later, and I'm noticing even in the gym for working out, it's getting harder to move the simplest way that I'm used to doing. It's harder to lift above my head, but I still have most of my functions, so why care? It's also not painful yet. It's just getting tighter and tighter. Well, keep fasting forward, and I get to, I think it was about the end of my season, and I'm having this unbearable shoulder pain. And for some reason, I've been seeing the chiropractor every Saturday, but I'm more focused on my low back pain and my ankle pain that I never once addressed my shoulder with him. And it happened until I got to one Saturday morning when I woke up and I was going to grab my glasses to put them on my head. And in my head, my hand was out there to grab it. But unfortunately, in reality, my arm was stuck to my side. It was not moving. So at 17, I'm in crisis mode. I can't lift my right arm at all to even put something simple as my glasses right on my face. So I, I panic, do I run to the emergency room or do I go see my chiropractor in an hour like I usually do every Saturday? Well, fortunately, my mom said, let's see what they can do first. I don't wanna rush you and have you taken a bunch of pills at 17 to be on pain meds. But we get to the doctor, I finally address and tell him what's going on my shoulder. And his first thing out of his mouth is, you're an idiot. Why did you wait this long for this to get so bad? And after evaluating, he goes, you separated your shoulder. You have put too much distance from the nerves in your neck to the tip of your shoulder, which is why you can't lift anything right now. Your body is not able to read what your shoulder is supposed to be doing, and that's why it's so painful. And he tells me the best news afterwards is, by the way, because you've been like this for so long, your left shoulder is on the same routine, it's just not to that point yet. So he adjusts my shoulder, and it was incredibly painful. I, I cried, it was horrible. But the next thing you know, my hand is going back over my head. I have full function again after one adjustment. Now it was still painful, but I got back what I was really missing. It worked so well that I was able to go to my film session and go lift again. And after that, I knew I had to take better care of my shoulders. But the moral of the story is, I waited too long to address all of my warning signs. I was, yes, I was focusing on my low back and my ankle because they were always there. I've always dealt with them through my years of sports. But this shoulder that hadn't become a massive problem yet, I was just letting go by the wayside and I shouldn't have. And because of that, I ended up with a left shoulder pain too, which unfortunately, as the story goes, my next season, I dealt with it again because I let it get damaged way too far. But with an adjustment, I was able to function again. So please take your pain stories, whether it's yours or another patient you've had in your office, share with other people. Let them know they're not in the dark. They're, they're here for a reason. We live through this. We see this all the time. Be vulnerable. Get them to open up about something they never thought about before. So please, take this and have a great Thursday.